Today we're going to do something different. We're going to do 11 by 14 uh, canvas. Um, this is for younger kids. It will go, it's usually I do a 16 by 20, but that's a lot of paint, a lot of coverage. Um, and this, uh, I was thinking of younger kids, TK first grade, and we're not going to paint the background. We're going to let it stay white. Uh, cause that, and we want to do it in a shorter amount of time because once you hit that one hour mark, you've lost them too long, can't sit there. So I had been doing it and they're doing great, but I decided, uh, you know what? Let's just make it smaller. Let's just try it and see what happens. Okay. So this is the, um, the video. So if you didn't get to finish yours, this is the video that you watch. So, uh, we have all kinds of paints, but it's really just four colors. Um, but we ma I made dark color, light color, because you need at least three versions of a color, dark, medium, light. The dark is always dark and you want it to show. And then there's light color, like her. But then when they accidentally mix, that is a brand new color. But if you scribble them together, you just get one color. And I mean, it's okay, but no one will love it, right? Look at all the colors. Oh, you know, I forgot to put on my apron, huh? Pixie wears an apron. So we have purple, everybody likes purple, pink and blue. And they're all, if they mix together, that, that's always fine. Those colors are right next to each other on the rainbow. So they'll always make a new color and they won't make an opposite color, kind of a bleh color. So we have two purples. We have purple with a little bit of white in it and just plain purple. So dark, light. So how do you make medium? Quick, you know, let them touch. Okay, and then we have pink and pink with white. We'll mix them together. Light pink, dark pink. And then what happens accidentally? Oh, they'll make a medium. Then we have blue, plain blue, and blue with a little bit of white in it. And we'll stir it together and make light blue. And then we'll make it blue a little bit of light blue on in. Oh, where they touch, they make medium. Then we have a little bit of green for the leaves. It's just regular green. But if we add a little bit of white, you get, you get even bright, brighter areas on the leaf. Okay. And then here's our paint tools. We got a bigger paintbrush. This is going to be to paint the, fill in the whole background. <laughs> Uh, so when we put our flowers on, if there's any spots that didn't get painted with flower, it's still got a little bit of color. And then itty bitty baby one, that's to make the, the vase and to make the leaf, leaves. And then we have these sponge stamps. So this one is a big sponge stamp. It's going to make the shape of our little flower, flower. Bloop. You put paint on it and go bloop. And then this will make the puddles. You go smash, pull, smash, pull, smash, pull. You can also do it with your finger. But if it, you don't like how it feels or anything, then we have a sponge backup. I like my finger, but um, just in case, okay? So we're gonna do the, um, the leaves first, because whatever's in the back you do first, so that by the time we finish the leaf and we put the flower on top, if it, the flower gets on the leaf, they won't mix, they'll be dry. The air will steal all the water out of your paint. Okay, so here's our little green paint. You just have to pop open the lid. And remember for the leaves, it was teeny tiny, just born paintbrush, just a little. And we're just gonna, um, oh, I know, let's do, let's do the vase first. I don't want green in my paintbrush. Good idea, okay. So, um, just put that green back down. Just, we'll use that in one second. So instead, we're going to use the blue. And we're going to open our blue. Just regular blue with no white in it. And we're just going to, we just need to tan it down a bit. So we don't stir it. You just poke it a little bit. Poke. And get a teeny tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. I didn't squeeze it. I didn't stir it. I didn't smooth, you know, scoop it. I just went poke. And we're just going to tr trace that bottom line like this, and I'm just gonna put my paintbrush right on top of it and pull, and I didn't scribble, I just pull, 
And when I run out of paint, oh, I ran out of paint. Flip over your paintbrush and push the other way. There it is. Now you do it. And then I'm going to get white after. And I don't want, I do go too fast. How come? Because I'm by myself in my office. So you pause me when you need to. But I don't want this blue on here. So I get one paper towel, put my paintbrush in it, pinch it real hard and squeeze. And it still has a little bit of blue on it, but most of it ended up in my napkin. I'm just going to keep that napkin. Now I'm going to paint over this white. And you know what's going to happen if I put white on it? It'll make baby blue. But also, I'm going to use that. I'm going to, there's going to be dark, it's going to be dark blue on the bottom because I only put it there. But as I pull it uphill, it'll run out of blue. It'll be a lighter blue. You're going to love it. Okay? So I'm going to go like this. And I'm going to poke, poke the white paint, poke. And I got some, right, some. And let's drag it. And remember how I did it? I just pulled it across. I just land on it. And I don't wiggle. I just pull. Oh, ooh, look. Oh. Do you have dark pieces, medium pieces, light pieces? And then there's paint on the other side. And I can push the other way. Whee. Look at all that. Oh, look what's in my paintbrush. Oh, that's going to be the baby blue that's going to run out. And now I'm going to get some white, but because it's uh, dirty still in the paintbrush, just get it from the side. I, oh, I got some more white, but I didn't hurt all my white. I didn't make it dirty. Remember how our paintbrush is dirty? Watch this. Let's pull it uphill, and we'll go ahead and touch the circle. Oh, oh, look, it got lighter. Oh, it is lighter. Now poke, poke some more white and go uphill the other way and go all the way up to the circle even though you're lined it oh it's super light we don't care oh, look what it did so pretty i got an extra white spot just like glass sometimes bright sometimes dark now we're going to get some more white from the side of the cup and i get a big scoop of it now we're just going to land your paintbrush right on the edge and pull land pull land pull land pull land pull Oh, more paint. Where's that blue coming from? A dirty paintbrush. Land, pull, land, land. Ooh, pretty. Just one side. Pull, 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 pull. Now we're going to smear it with our finger. Straight, flat, straight, flat, straight, flat. Oh, nice. How about the other way? Oh. And sometimes it sounds dry and we don't care. How come there's nothing in the middle? It doesn't need it. We, we, how come it's darker on the bottom? Shadow. Good job. Now we'll clean our paintbrush again. I know I went too fast. Push, pause, rewind. Good again. How many times do you have to do something to learn it? Three, five times? And we just did that one time? So what if you want to do it again? Okay. Put more? Do it again? Yes. You want to go back and smooth your paint? Don't bother. It flattens when it dries. Okay, now let's do our leaves. We had already opened our green because I made an oopsie, right? Now I'm going to get the green paint. I'm just going to get some. I don't need a lot. Just some. Poke. Oh, some. Just a little bit because we can only get some more. And I'm just going to um, outline. I'm just going to, just like I did at the bottom, outline this pencil. And I go all the way up to the circle. Whee! Oh, I touched the circle. It's not bad. You want to see up close? I go like this. Do this one. Whee! Hey, we might as well outline this funny little triangle right there. Get more green. Whee! Whee! And now I just fill it in. If I use miniature teeny tiny scribbles, and just push the paint around, I'm not, I'm just sneaking up to the sides. Don't touch the sides. When there's almost no paint left on your paintbrush, then you sneak up to the side. Oh, I almost went out. Oh, so hard. Great. Oh, that's only one color. It's all right. It's not great. What if we added some white to it and give it permission to have some, a shiny tummy? A shiny, okay. But I, I want to go get some white, but this is dirty. So you can lick it off. No, not really. You put it in the paper towel. Pinch, pull. And I'm going to get a little bit of white. 
it's just um a little from the side you know where it's not it's i don't know and i get a little pearl and i'm gonna drop it off right down the middle Whoop. like that but then i'm just it's only as big as one finger let's make baby green oh but wait there's it turn there's no left on my paintbrush you know what when you have nothing left on your paintbrush, it's the perfect color to get closer to the edges. Sneaky. Oh, that it is darker. How come? Because it's less white paint and I never touch the middle again. Already did her. Okay. And give it permission to have dark parts, medium parts, and light parts. You don't have to scribble it a lot. Just rub it in a little bit. Okay, that's going to be your ugliest leaf. How come? It's your first one. Now let's get green and do it again. Get a scoopy of green. And we'll outline this one. Push, push, push. Oh yeah, it looks like a diamond. Then how do you fill it in? Paint a ton of wiggles. That was just one color. Not 3D. What do we need? A dark color, a medium color, and a light color. Let's put the light color, and the medium color will just show up. So I'm going to clean my... Oh, it looks, looks like a bunny rabbit. That's funny. I'm going to clean my paintbrush again. Pinch. And I'm going to get some white, but from the side. I don't want to dirty all my pretty white. Oh, okay. And drop it off down the middle. And then, remember from last time? The one finger big. And I just scribble in the middle. Oh, now look at your paintbrush. Almost no paint left in there. Now just sneak up to the edges and let it run out of paint. All gone. Good job. Now let's do this last one. That goes right here. More paint. Hey, I touched some of the vase and it got white in it. I don't care. I have to refix the triangle on the end. Okay. With a pointy. Okay, now I'm going to clean my paintbrush so I'm going to get some white. Pinch. A little pearl white. How come this one's easier? Because we've done it already. Our brain learned it. You give your brain permission to learn. It's okay, brain. Oh, I scribbled to the sides with no paint. Yay! Good job. Okay, now we're going to paint. Um, let's paint. We have to do whatever is the furthest back first, right? So that, I think it would be this one. And we're going to paint it all in. So when we put flowers on top, if there's any holes showing between the flowers, it's got some color. Okay, so let's do it in dark purple. Find your dark purple. And your biggest paintbrush, look at her. And when you smash her, she's really big. So get a scoop of the purple. And we'll just trace it. Oops, I got some green in it, but it won't hurt nothing. Tracing, not, ah, okay. And then get a scoop and fill it in. Oh, it got dry. Get more, more paint. Not a pencil. Pushing harder doesn't help. I said to go get the most scoopy more. Great. It just, and we don't have to fix it or make it smooth or nothing. We're going to put flowers on top. And this dark purple will get sucked into your flower. So pretty. Okay, so we could put, uh, clean this paintbrush. And how do we clean it? Put it in a paper towel, fold it over, pinch it really hard, and pull! All clean. Now let's uh, find the uh, lavender color. It's purple and white mixed together. Remember her? And find the same pencil, but use your stick and stir. Scratch the sides and the bottom. You know fruit on the bottom yogurt where you get to scratch it and stir it? Pretty color. But look at my stick. That's going to make a mess. 
another paper towel. You know what? I don't like those paper towels too dirty. Let's put it in our little bag and throw it away. Oh, we forgot to do that in a bit. But the bag your paint came in, you can make a little um, bird's nest in it and put our dirty paper towels in. Okay, now we put this one down and find Big Stamp. Okay, so we're going to, okay, let's find her and we're going to touch the purple. You just mush the touch the purple like that. Oops, excuse me. Touch the purple. And I'm going to go smash. Smash. Like that. And now that I went, oh, I went out, I just put it on the edge and it's hanging off the edge. And I'm going to get light purple. We just made it. And use our little stamp or your finger and touch it. I'm going to go like this. Touch the edge and pull. Touch the edge and pull. Touch the edge and pull. Get some more. Oops, where is it? Oh. And then touch the edge and pull. Touch the edge and pull. Touch the edge and pull. And then we'll get a little put, touch the white. Get some white and do it again. Touch, scratch. Touch, scratch. Touch, scratch. Touch, scratch. Touch, scratch. Touch, scratch. Oh, we push into the middle. Okay, that's going to be our ugliest one. That was hard. Okay, so this time we'll get lavender with our paint, with our poke. And you just touch the lavender and let's put it next to it. Oh, they touched. Nobody cares. And get our, our little stamp and go land push, land push, land push, land push. Land pull, land pull. Oh, look at the stripes. Who wants to make a pink one? No, let's do all the purple ones first. Okay, now we'll get some more lavender. And let's put this one like near the leaf. Oh, she's sticking out of the circle. I let her stick out a little bit. And we can get our white. And we'll go land pull, land pull, land pull, land pull, land pull. Oh, nice. And we don't go back and fix it. We like them stripey like that. Now let's make some baby pink. It's the uh, pink with white in it. And we'll just use, remember the stick? We can stir that. Make baby pink. Baby pink. And then, ew. I need a new paper towel, huh? Okay, new paper towel. Fold it, squeeze it. Ugh. Okay, and then we'll get our big stamp, but it has purple on it. Watch this. Just touch your pink. You don't mix it. Just touch it. Oops. Let me show you up close. Touch. Don't push. Touch. Now put put it oh, in between these two. Oh. <gasps> And maybe right here. And then we'll get our, our little tiny baby one. And I'll do it up closer. Land scratch, land scratch, land scratch, land scratch, land scratch, land scratch. Then get another poke of white. Land scratch, 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 scratch. Oh, how pretty. Now let's get some dark pink. Open the plain pink. She doesn't have any white in her. And we're just going to touch it. But I have paint on my paintbrush. So. And we don't squish. Just barely touch. Oh, ooh. Careful. Let's go next to those. Maybe one here. And one by the other leaf. Smash. Smash. Okay, then we'll get white again. Touch the white. And do our little pull. Pull, 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 pull. Pull towards the middle. I touched that one too much. It's not as party. That's okay. My next one will be cute. Watch. So I'm going to pull, pull, pull. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Okay. Now I'm going to get my, my big stamp again. And I'm going to do dark purple again. No. Nope. Baby pink. That's. The softer pink one, smash, and go, po, 
poke, poke, poke. Oh, yay! Now we'll, instead of get white, let's get the baby lavender color. Poke. And make stripes. Stripe, 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 stripe. Oh, do you see the pink lips? Ooh. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Pull towards the middle. I still have some spaces that need uh, flowers, right? All we have to do is stamp them. So let's get dark purple this time. I mean, let's get dark pink. And go smash, 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 smash. Anywhere there was, oh, no, no, that's fine. I almost thought there was one on the bottom. And we'll get some white. And we'll just go touch, pull, touch, pull, touch, pull, touch, pull, touch, touch, scratch. Scratch, 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 scratch. Oh, you're just pulling it toward the middle. Pull, 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 pull. And then, here's the magic part. I like to put like three pure white ones. Not with my dirty sponge, but with my nice clean finger. And I touch the white. And just put a few white ones. White, white, white. Oops. White, 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 white. Oh, the white ones look bright. Somewhere else at the top. Bright, bright, bright. Oops. I can tell as soon as I run out. It's not white anymore. <gasps> there. One more. White. Because I didn't like that flower, so I put it on top of my ugly flower. See? Three bright ones. Oh, my finger dirty. Napkin. Don't like it. Okay, now we get to do another one. So let's do uh, this one, because she's behind it. So we got to paint the purple first. Where's the big paintbrush? Did she fall down? She did fall down. She rolled off my table. So get big paintbrush. And we're going to go right on top of this one. I know, because this bunch of flowers is in front. <laughs> And then you just get a scoop of purple. Oh, there's purple in my lid too. Okay, I'll use that. All purple. Do we care? No, we just we're gonna decorate on top. Uh, but now I need to stir our baby blue so we can make some blue ones too this time because we're really pretty. So it's the one that has blue and white in it. And I use my stick and stirry, stirry. Scratch the sides. I always find the white on the sides or in the lid. And stirry, scratch the bottom. Don't poke, just scratch. Oh, it changed colors, but it's too dirty. I'm going to clean my stick. I'm going to put this, I don't like this too dirty. I'm going to put it in my little um, um, bird's nest. Okay, go back to big paintbrush. Look how pretty she is. Oh, no. So now let's put some dark pink ones. How many? Five? One at the top. Touch the edge. One, two, more paint. Three, four, five. Oh, let's put two in the middle, but they don't touch. Six, seven. Yay. Who wants to use their finger this time? Yeah. Or use the baby sponge. But I'm going to get lavender. And I'm going to make little, little swipes. So I'm going to touch the very edge and pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, nice. Now do another one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Another one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. How about we put some white on this one? One, two. Ooh, it's so much brighter. But I like dark ones too. Nice. Good job. But I gotta clean my finger. Now let's put some um, dark blue ones. 
What about my, oh, blue and pink make purple, so don't worry. Touch the dark blue. Oops, missed. That blue, look at it, it looks kind of swirly. I like it. And we'll put seven of these. Touch the edge. One, two. Oh, I need more blue. Let go. It's stuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we'll put some baby blue ones. Okay, our first blue ones. Baby blue on my finger. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Oh, one, two, three, four, five. So pretty, the blue ones. And my finger dirty. Well, look at all those spaces. I need some more. It's just purple, you know, background. Let's just put some pure white flowers there. So get white on your finger and just remember, see that part doesn't have a flower? Just put a white one. Okay. Just put a white one. Just put a white one. Nice. Good job. Only have one left. Do you guys like it? Okay, find a big paintbrush. And we have to fill this in purple. But we have to cut off the vase and the leaf all the way around. So we'll just get dark purple. And outline it. Bye, flowers. We're cutting you off because this one's in front. And then scribble, scribble. If you don't have any purple, there's some in your lid. Because the little cup was upside down. It got stuck to the lid. And I can scribble it in. Because we cover it all with flowers. But I don't like to leave my paintbrush dirty because it will land on your lap and make it icky. Oh, this one's too dirty, I think. I'm going to put this one in my bird's nest. And then clean my paintbrush. Oh, it's got blue in it. I think it's blue and pink is going to be very pretty. So with blue, find dark pink. And touch it. Let's put seven. Oh, right on the edge. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh oh, I ran out of paint. I need more paint. Six, seven. Okay, eight, nine. I made nine. Are you jealous? And then I'll get um baby pink. And let's do some in baby pink. Right on top and make little swipes. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Blue came out. I love it. it Must have been in my stamp. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. How about the middle ones? We put lavender. Find the lavender color. Oh, I just wanted to see what... Oh, it's got blue in it. I love it. I love it. Very pretty. And now we'll clean our finger. Ew. And we could put a, a baby pink one. So with our dirty paintbrush, touch your baby pink. I mean, our dirty spongy. And just go, one, there's a space. Two, there's another space. Three, there's another, four. <gasps> but it's on top my other ones. That's okay. They're on top. They're best friends. So I'm in front of this one. Okay, and then I can get white. And I'm not going to put white on the baby pink ones. Ooh. It's hard to tell where they are. They're all starting to look slimy. Flick, 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 flick. Ooh. Pretty. We did it. 
Those are called hydrangeas. They're made out of bunches of flowers. Good job, everybody. You did a beautiful job. Very nice. Good job.